Everybody face me in attention and bow. Okay guys, as always, um, I recommend you do a warm up on your own. Do about five minute warm up. Um, uh, we're not gonna be doing that together. I'm gonna let you guys kind of create your own warm up, do your own thing. Um, if you're already warmed up and ready to go, let's get started. So um, the first thing we're gonna work on is our slip. Okay, now our slip is basically moving our head off the center line. If you imagine a punch coming right at your nose, you want to move your head to one side or move it to the other side. Now when I'm doing this, you can see how I'm turning the shoulders and bending the knees slightly. I go the other way, I turn the shoulders and I bend the knees. A lot of people when they first learn this, they'll do more of a, a waist bend like this. Okay, and the problem with that is you can't attack very well. But if I turn the head and bend the knees, now my legs are loaded up and they're ready to attack. Okay, so let me give you a back view here. So we're gonna practice slipping in each direction. So if I slip to my back side, which is my right side, and I'm gonna slip to the left side. Notice when I slip to the left side, how I turn those shoulders. And when I turn those shoulders, I'm gonna be ready to come out of that with a nice hook punch. And so again, we slip to the right, slip to the left, to the right, to the left. Okay, now if I'm uh, uh, lefty, I have my left leg back, same thing. Okay, I slip to the left, slip to the right, slip to the left, slip to the right. Okay, so you're gonna practice that um, about three minutes, just getting comfortable with the slips, then we're gonna come back and work on counterattacking out of our slips. Okay guys, three minutes, get going. So once you've managed to slip a punch, that's just the beginning. You know, you got out of the way, that's a good start. But the whole idea of slipping a punch is so you can counterattack. okay? So when we're gonna slip this punch, I'm gonna be right leg back, which means I slip to the left. Okay, I turn towards my, my lead leg, which is my left leg, and I'm gonna come out of that with my hook punch. Okay, if you're a lefty and your left leg is back, you're gonna slip to your right hook punch with your right, okay? But I'm gonna be uh, right leg back for this drill. Um, so again, I'm gonna slip, get my head out of the way, and I throw that hook. Now look at my final position. My back hand is up protecting me. If I throw that hook and I'm here, I can easily get countered. I'm gonna assume that my, my opponent is gonna hit me back. So I'm gonna be prepared for that ahead of time. I'm not gonna wait until they attack and then get my hand up. Okay, my hand's gonna be up uh, as I'm punching. Okay, so again, slip, hook. Okay, look where my uh, elbow is facing. I've gone all the way through my target, not too far, okay? And look where my eyes are facing, eyes are forward. So if I punch too far, now I've taken my eyes off my opponent. The final thing to look at is your foot, okay? After we slip, hook. Look how I pivoted. I've turned that foot into my hook punch. If I don't pivot, you know, it's all arm. It's an arm punch. Arm punch, punches aren't very strong, they're not very fast. Okay, so we're gonna practice slip, hook. And just hold that position. Check your, your three points. Hand up, eyes and elbow forwards, foot turn, foot pivoted. Okay, you're gonna practice that two minutes um, and then come back, we're gonna work on the slip to the other direction. Okay, begin. So if we do our slip in the other direction, okay, means we're going towards our back leg. For me, that's gonna be my right leg, so I'm gonna pivot the head out of the way and again, check my hand position. Hands are up, and then come back with that reverse punch right down the middle, okay? Again, I'm gonna turn, pivot, pivot, punch, okay? Slip, punch, slip, punch. And give yourself a moment, check a few things. Check that that hand is up, check that that back foot has turned, we're in a pivot, um, and check that your eyes are forwards, okay? Slip, pivot, slip, punch, Okay, let me show you guys from the back angle here. Slip, punch. Okay, that punch is coming right at my nose. I need to get my head out of the way and fire that punch back immediately. Okay guys, uh, two minutes on the, the slip, reverse punch, begin. So hopefully we can put this all together now. Okay, so we're gonna be that fighting stance. We're gonna pivot or slip to our front side hook Return, we're gonna to pivot to the back side, punch. Slip, hook, slip, punch. 
Let me give you a back view here. Slip, hook, slip, punch. Slip, hook, slip, punch. Okay, let me show you a left leg back stance, okay? Slip, hook, slip, punch. Slip, hook, slip, punch. Okay, this is your final round. You're gonna practice this two minutes. Interchange in between slipping to your front side, slipping to your back side. Uh, go ahead and get started, you guys. You got two minutes of practice. Begin. We're going to be working on your rear leg side kick. And I have a really neat drill that's going to help you to perfect the technique on the rear leg side kick. So our drill is going to require a wall. And what we're going to do is we're going to start, it um, uh, doesn't matter right leg back or left leg back, um, but whatever side is back, have that side next to the wall. So my right leg is back, so my right leg is next to the wall here. And I want to get pretty close to the wall. Uh, my back shoulder is touching. Now the problem a lot of people have on a rear leg side kick is that when they throw the kick, it starts to come out like a side kick, but it ends up going out kind of like a roundhouse kick. And hopefully you can see at the end how it came across. And this kick should be pushing straight forwards. Okay, that pushing, thrusting motion. So I'm going to get set back up on the wall here. Right leg back, I'm close to the wall. So when I chamber, my knee has to come straight up, okay? If I try to chamber wide, okay, if I try to chamber wide like this, my knee is going to hit the wall, okay? And if you go wide, the problem with that is you're swinging too much and that kick becomes too obvious, it becomes too slow, okay? So we want to be more direct with this kick. So when I chamber, that knee comes straight up. Now from here, I need to turn and throw that side kick. My heel is actually touching the wall. My back is on the wall, okay? That's why this wall is gonna help you to make sure this kick is straight. Okay, so let's do that again. I'm gonna get close to the wall. I chamber straight. Look at my knee, it looks like a front kick right now. Turn and push side kick. My heel is touching that wall. My back is against the wall, re-chamber, and land, okay? Let me do in the other direction. So I'm gonna go left leg back here. Okay, again, my left shoulder is up on the wall here. I take that back leg, chamber, turn, side kick, look at my heels touching the wall, re-chamber, down. So what this kick looks like coming at you is again, that chamber comes up straight, comes up straight, turn, Push that side kick out, re chamber, and down. Okay, so you guys are gonna practice this. I want you to practice this one at least five minutes, okay? That's about two and a half minutes per leg. Um, uh, if you practice this at least five minutes, it's gonna really sink into your muscles um, and hopefully uh, uh, make sure you guys understand how to do that rear leg side kick properly. Okay, get going, five minutes. So we're going to be focusing on your review curriculum. So for my advanced belts, that means 22B, Escrima, Staff, and Sai. Okay, well, I want to go through all the forms with you. We're going to do all four in a row, and then you're going to do two rounds on your own. So if you need help with those final two rounds, forget the forms, rewind this video and watch it again. But if you know how to do all the forms on your own, simply do those last two rounds by yourself. So let's start with 22B first. We're gonna do it together, okay? If you don't need my uh, assistance, just do it on your own real quick, 22B. Number one, in, two, punch, three, punch, four, up, five, up, six, down, seven, down, eight, inside, nine, inside, 10, out, 11, out, 12, orientation, 13, fighting stance, 14, front kick, 15, front kick, 16, turn and shout, 17, slide side, 18, turn and shout, 19, slide side, 20 back this, 21 punch, and 22 salutation. Okay, go get that extrema stick. Let's go through our extrema left form eight count. Starting with the right hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch hands, and one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's go get our staffs. 
staff form. I'm actually going to turn backwards for this one. This just makes a little more sense with the staff form. Okay, ready? And number one, horse dance. Punch, 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 poke, poke, up, down, out, out, switch the right hand, circular down, chin strike, overhead, chin strike, side, side, over, pull back, poke, yeah. draw in, overhead, block, chin strike, circle strike, drop, poke, yeah. come to attention, and back. Okay, go get your side. Okay, let's get ready for the side form. Ready addition. Number one, horse dance, yeah. two, punch, yeah. three, poke, four, punch, yeah. five, poke, six, up, seven, side strike, eight, up, nine, side strike, down block, overhead strike, down block, overhead strike, inside, elbow, inside, elbow, outside block, down, outside block, down strike, salutation. I'm actually gonna turn around backwards for this next section. Okay, so from right here, we start with salutation. 23, step back in that fighting stance. Hook, knee, double punch, cross, double outside, kick with the front leg, shift, double strike. Drop, poke with the left. Now flip that left side in, overhead attack, overhead attack, overhead attack. Come back to a flat hand salutation. Okay, X block, and bow. Okay, go get your nunchaku. So I realize for some of you guys, it's been quite some time since you've done the nunchaku form. Um, this is a form that going for black belt in the future, we are gonna require, it wasn't in the past. Um, if you don't remember it or never learned it, um, try to follow along the best you can. Um, we do have a much more detailed video on our YouTube channel which you guys can follow along with. But if you have learned it and you remember it or kind of remember it, go ahead and follow along. Okay, so we started at attention. Okay, ready and horse stance upper block, down block, Outside, outside, hip, hip, circle, catch, switch, reverse figure eight, about three, four times, hip cradle, back catch, hip cradle, back catch, neck catch, neck catch, hip, hip, arm, leg, catch, switch, hip, hip, arm, leg, catch, hip, hip, wrist roll, wrist roll, hip, catch, unwind, ready position, tension, and bow. Okay, so for my advanced belts, that's my brown one, red, and red black belts, you're gonna uh, keep up with your reviews. So that means you're gonna do 22B, you're gonna do Estrema, you're gonna do Staff, Sai, and then you're gonna do Nunchaku also. So that's five forms you gotta remember. Uh, we've already done one round together, okay? But you're gonna do two more rounds completely on your own. See if you can do all five forms in a row without any help. Okay, if you need a little bit of assistance, go back and rewatch the video again, follow along, and then hopefully by that last round, you can do it completely on your own. If you get to a form that you can't do it on your own, that should let you know that you need to put a little bit of extra practice, maybe instead of two rounds, maybe you add about the third or fourth round um, to make sure you can get through that. Okay guys, begin.